Today we're going to go over the top 20 most difficult WGU courses. This is going to be a pretty long video because I have to cover 20 different courses. I will go over the courses probably pretty briefly, although some I might talk about more in detail. So I've gathered a lot of research on this. Some of these courses I've taken myself, uh, some of them I have not. I've gathered information from Reddit, which is a great information source for classes. I've gathered information from WGU Facebook groups. I've gathered information from WGU course chatter and all also just you know talking to people in messages so I've gathered information from all over the place on what are the hardest courses that there is I will say if you are not enrolled in a tech degree or do not plan to take a tech degree this video might not be as useful for you because almost all of these classes are from the tech degrees uh, I will say that if anybody from the nursing school is watching I did not factor in nursing school into this nursing school is extremely hard and they would probably all rank as the hardest classes on this list so I'm just not even going to throw the nursing portion into this uh, video so I'm sorry to disappoint any uh, nursing degree watchers into this nursing school is extremely tough and basically all of those classes would rank probably at the top of the list but this is overall from all the other degrees that are not from the uh, nursing degree so I'm not including that degree in this all the other degrees are included however it is mostly tech classes I think the only non-tech classes on here are from the accounting degree so if you are planning to do a tech degree, you're enrolled in a tech degree, or you're enrolled in the uh, accounting degree or plan to take the accounting degree, then this video will be pretty valuable for you. For the first time ever, I will be doing a giveaway, $100 Amazon gift card. So how can you win this gift card? It will be given away exactly 14 days after this video. There's how you enter is you like the video, you subscribe and you make a comment down below. And in the comment, you must say the words WGU and whatever program you're in or interested in. So such as WGU computer science, but you also have to write at least one other sentence. It can be something like, I can't wait to be in the WGU computer science program. It can be, oh, I found this course really hard in the WGU cybersecurity program. Oh, this, this course from WG data analytics, I'm really looking forward to taking. So it has to have WGU and a major in the comment. So like subscribe and a comment and I will randomize it all the comments will be put in a comment picker a randomized comment picker and I will announce two weeks from now who wins that hundred dollar Amazon gift card so I would very much appreciate it if you guys comment and participate I am trying to grow the channel and that is one of the reasons for the giveaway we'll also be going over a alternative that you can take as well so basically I'm going over these 20 tough courses and I will give you an alternative either to a ace credit course such as study.com or some kind of certification and you can knock this course out without actually taking it at WGU so this video will provide an alternative and these are 20 courses that you probably don't want to do at the school so I will give you an alternative I will also have a spreadsheet that you can download at my website majormash.com and that you can also download in the description and the pinned comment and this will have the 20 top hardest courses and an alternative listed in that spreadsheet so let's get to the first class on this list okay guys now that the introductory part of this video is over we can get to the first course which is applied probability and statistics so a lot of people probably won't think this course is hard at all but the thing is if you haven't done math in a long time and you've never really taken a statistics class you know maybe this is your first stats class ever you didn't get much of it in high school uh, you don't remember much about it and maybe stats is just something you struggle with maybe math is something you struggle with so this course is basically hit or miss with people I feel like some people find it really easy some people find it pretty intermediate and some people find it really hard so this one is just all over the place that's why I have it number 20 on this list although some people might find this course extremely easy some people might put this course in their top five so it's just it's kind of all over the place and it's going to be extremely subjective so I think though if you follow the directions and you uh you read uh, the book and just do all the lessons you should be able to complete this course at WGU not too much of a problem but there's alternatives out there you can do it on all three ace credit platforms I always recommend math on straighter line I think this course you can do business stats at straighter line for some of the degrees or you can do introduction to statistics on straighter line and that's where I would recommend doing this course but it is a you can still do it on WGU it's absolutely doable it's not as hard as the other math courses in my opinion all right guys number 19 is JavaScript 
programming. So this is in the software engineering degree. This is a performance assessment. And basically, if you do not know Angular, uh, you've had no experience with it, this might be a very hard course for you. A lot of people on Reddit and other social media say this is a very hard course because they did not know Angular and they didn't have a good grasp of JavaScript. So this was one of the absolute hardest courses they've ever taken. Now, if you know JavaScript, if you know Angular, this course might only take you a day. But if you don't, this might be a one or two week hair puller. So my recommendation is if you don't know those to actually do the CIW cert uh, JavaScript programming. So I will uh, have a link to that and you can get this course out of the way and never have to take it at WGU. Number 18 is IT foundations. Now this course might not be overly difficult, but it's very long. A lot of people spend three, four or five weeks on this course. You know, basically you're preparing for the CompTIA A plus exam, a lot of the same material, you know, all of that. And it, this, this is very time consuming. Me. I've never taken uh, this course. Uh, I was never in the IT degree and the computer science degree, they took this course out a long time ago. So I, I never took this course, but everything I have read is it, it is very long. So IT foundations, this covers a lot of what is on the CompTIA A plus exam. Number 17 is this class is basically brother slash sister, which is IT applications. This class is a little harder than the previous one, but there's a lot of crossover. Uh, it's basically the same thing where it can take you three to five weeks. There's tons of material tons of things you have to cover. And this course, I would probably recommend doing the CompTIA A plus exam outside before you enter WGU because these courses take a long time. Now, if you're getting financial aid and you really don't care about graduating in one term, then you know you can definitely take these at WGU, no problem. But if you care about speed, I would recommend uh, doing the CompTIA A plus exam outside of WGU. So it's up to you. If you wanna spend anywhere from six to eight weeks getting rid of these two courses, that'll be your decision to make. This is number 16, and this is business of IT project management. So there's another project management in the business degrees called just project management. That course is also hard. It would probably make my top 25 hardest courses, but this one is the tech version. It is business of IT project management. It focuses on the project plus cert, and I would highly recommend to transfer in this class and get rid of it. And you could do that by taking project management on Sophia or study. Usually I recommend study, but for this class, I will recommend Sophia as it's a little easier on that platform. So project management, hard course, get rid of it. 15 on this list is data structures and algorithms one. So this course, a lot of people say it's hard on WGU. I would recommend taking this one on study.com. The one on study is very passable. It's still difficult. It's not quite college course level difficult, but it's still pretty difficult on study, but it's easier than the WGU version. So I would highly recommend taking it there and getting rid of this course. Now you can take it on WGU. It's not as hard as data structures and algorithms two and it's not as hard as some of the other more intense computer science courses, but I would still recommend getting rid of this on an ACE credit platform. Like I said, one of the great things about ACE credit platforms is you can get rid of all the hard courses, you know, save the intermediate ones and the easier ones for WGU. Work smarter, not harder. I would highly recommend taking this course outside of WGU. Number 14 is actually a non-tech class, and this is from the accounting degree. This is cost and managerial accounting. This class is, in my opinion, a top two or three hard course in the accounting program, extremely hard. I'm sure a lot of people from like the tech degrees would find this class really challenging and really hard. Cost accounting is tough in general, but this course at WGU, if it hasn't changed much, it's, it's a tough exam. It's an extremely tough exam and it, it's a course you have to really go all out with. You know, you got to basically watch the cohorts. You're gonna have to watch some outside material on YouTube, read some outside material, read WGU's material. This is a really beefy class, pretty complex as well. And I will double check for you guys after this video, but to my knowledge, unfortunately, WGU does not allow this class to be transferred in. 13 is network and security applications. So a lot of people struggle with this one, basically goes over the security plus exam. If you wanna save a lot of time, take the security plus before you enroll. If not, this course might take you a good few weeks and therefore you lose a few weeks in your degree plan. And when it comes to WGU, if you're trying to accelerate, you're trying to get every course done in 10 days or less. So these CERT classes, 
take a while. So this class, if you want to save time, take the security plus before you come to the school. Number 12 is Java frameworks. So this course is a performance assessment. It's a pretty intense, rigorous project. A lot of people do struggle with this one, especially if they don't have a good grasp of Java. And also this is just a course by WGU that's not very well put together. You know, it's kind of all over the place. Whoever did the performance assessment and the lesson plans are not, it's like it wasn't really the same person from everything that I've read. And it's just really tough to follow. So the basic advice for this course is to read the entire textbook on this one, which is not something I usually recommend for WGU, but to read the whole textbook to actually watch the WGU cohort videos and make sure you understand everything. Follow the project guidelines, make sure you do everything by the book on this one. There's also a Udemy course. I don't know if it still comes with WGU, but if that course still comes with it, take that course. So you shouldn't have to take a course to pass a course, but WGU has not put this course together the best. So you're gonna need some outside material and they did include a Udemy course in this course if it's still there. If not, you'll have to look up some Java stuff on your own probably and and learn a little bit outside of this course. So if you are coming complete from scratch, uh, you took the intro to Java course in this degree program, then you know this course might take you a couple weeks. But if you have a good grasp of Java, you have some experience going into this degree, this course might take you just a few days. So it just, it really depends on you, but this is one of the harder uh, WGU courses. Number 11 here is networks. So some people struggle with this one. This one prepares you for the Network Plus exam. Basically everything Network Plus covers is in this class. My recommendation from everything I have read from everybody on Reddit, the Facebook groups, everything that I've researched is just you can skip all the material in this class entirely. Just find a professor or some kind of really intensive course that goes over Network Plus and has nothing to do with WGU. It could be Professor Messer. Uh, that might not be enough, though. Find a course on Udemy. You probably maybe want like two courses you can kind of speed run. Uh, most people average between two to 3.5 weeks on this course. So anywhere from two to three and a half weeks is how long this course might take you. You can get rid of this course with a CCNA or a Network Plus before you actually enter the school. But if not, this course should take you anywhere from two to three and a half weeks. And just any Network Plus cheat sheet you can find, any Network Plus material you can find, just get your hands on it, read it, devour it. The WGU material I've heard is not the greatest and it takes too long. So number 10 on this list is Discrete Math 1. So Discrete Math 1, you can take this on study.com. It is the only ACE credit platform that you can take this class on. And I 100% absolutely recommend taking this course on study.com. So the one on WGU is really hard. Also, any discrete math course you find at any college is gonna be one of the toughest classes in the entire school at the undergraduate level. Discrete math is really hard. So the study.com one though is still very difficult. I took it on study.com and it was the hardest course I did take of any ACE credit course I have taken. I probably compiled nearly 100 ACE credits and discrete math was the hardest ACE credit course I took. However, it's still a lot easier than a college course discrete math. So in all of you doubting yourself that you can't do math and you can't do a computer science degree, you can complete discrete math at an ACE credit platform. Trust me. Okay. You can do it. So I highly recommend taking it on study.com, but you can do the one on WGU too. It's definitely not as hard as the discrete math two course. So I uh, highly recommend getting rid of this before you get to WGU. Number nine guys is backend programming. You'll find this in the computer science degree. So this course I've read is very difficult. I personally did not take this one at WGU. So like I said, you cannot transfer in this course from an ACE credit platform, but if you did a equivalent course from another college, you can transfer this in. But since you cannot transfer this in through an ACE credit alternative, I will link to a useful Reddit thread and any other useful information that I can find regarding this course. So most of my spreadsheet will be linking to an alternative course you can take to get rid of the WGU course. But if I cannot find an alternative, if there is no ACE credit alternative, if there is no certification alternative, no certificate alternative, I will try to link to the most helpful resource that I can find. So there is a couple resources out there for for this course, you'll be doing back-end programming. It's a complex, very multiple-step project. You know, I 
read you'll be setting up a database. A lot of people get lost in this one. I would go over it more if I did take this class, but this is all from things I have read on social media platforms and you know talking to people from WGU. So I can't go too far into detail with it, but most majority of people did struggle with this one if they didn't already have a really good knowledge of backend programming. Also, it's one of those courses also that is just not really well put together by WGU. Don't get me wrong, WGU is a terrific school, one of my favorite schools ever, but even the best schools are not going to have the greatest classes sometimes. And this class, from what I've read, is structurally not the best, uh, not the most organized. So just letting you guys know, this might be a frustrating class, but like if you stick with it, find some helpful materials from Reddit, Facebook groups, WGU Discord, so many helpful resources you can find, and I will help you find that information as well. So back in programming. So number eight is a non-tech class. This is Intermediate Accounting 2. And I'm sure anyone that has taken the accounting degree or is going to take the accounting degree has probably heard of this class. There's actually three intermediate accounting classes, one, two, and three. They're all very hard, but number two is known as this course for years that is like the boogeyman. It's a very difficult course. You're gonna have to do a ridiculous amount of studying, and this course will probably take you a solid month. So when it comes to WGU, you know, some courses do take a month, right? But it's usually a cert class in a tech program. For this course, Intermediate Accounting 2, for this course to take you a month and it's not linked to a certification is pretty crazy. Like this course has so much material and it's not related to a cert and it still takes a month. So this is probably even more beefy than any of the tech courses. This might be the most beefy course at WGU. There's a lot of information. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's even two OAs on this course as well. So it's a very beefy course, a lot of material to digest, and you're gonna have to do a crazy amount of study. Number seven is software two, and this is in the software engineering degree, C sharp track. So this one is pretty complex. It's a very complex project that takes a lot of time. You can find some helpful materials on it, find a lot of helpful materials on Reddit, uh, Facebook groups, Discord, you know, all the usual places. I will try to link to any helpful material that I can possibly come across. But this is probably, you know, one of the very hardest courses in the software engineering program and one of the hardest tech courses in general. So software one is also hard, but and it probably would make my top 25 hardest courses after the research I've done. But software two, if you plan to do the C sharp track, this is the one you should kind of circle and be like, you know, this one's going to take me a while. It's a lot of information. I should mentally prep for this one and find all the information and resources I can find. So software two, it's a pretty difficult class. Number six is calculus one subjective very subjective every math course is going to be really subjective so i mean all these courses in general are going to be subjective but especially math some people might find math the easiest thing in the world some people might have every math course in their top five so completely depends on the person research i've gathered you know calculus is it can be pretty hard in general for some people and the one at wgu is pretty hard not a lot of people are like oh that was the easiest class i ever took like no it was a pretty hard course people get stuck on calculus for a long time at wgu in my opinion opinion, if there's two courses you're going to do outside of WGU for the computer science program, I would recommend doing calculus at Straighter Line. I mean, you could do it on all three ACE credit platforms, but I found Straighter Line the easiest and you can use a calculator as for, plus if you get 100% on all the exams at Straighter Line, you can actually just get near 0% on the final there and still pass the course. I believe that's the only website that you can do that on. Calculus, I recommend on Straighter Line and then Discrete Math, go take at study.com because that's the only platform you can take it on. So calculus, I highly recommend to get this out of the way before you enter WGU because I see so many people get stuck on it or even switch programs. Like let's say they entered uh, computer science. Like some people get stuck on it. Not everybody, of course, but some people end up transferring to one of the IT degrees or software engineering degrees. Now, just avoid the headache altogether and get it done on an ACE credit platform. Five is data structures and algorithms two. So this course is a performance assessment. It's project and I've heard it's pretty complex. Personally, I love data structures and algorithms. You know, I find it really fun. You know, some people find this really challenging and struggle to digest the material. So data structures and algorithm two, you can find plenty of material. You can learn it on YouTube, plenty of good playlists, plenty of good mini courses you can take, and also plenty of good uh, Reddit explanations and Discord explanations that I will help link in the description to complete this class. But like I said, there's no alternative to this class. And if 
if there is not an alternative, I will do my best to link you any good information I can find. I've had this video planned for a few months. I never got around to it. I was actually going to release this video and the degree ranking video, which has been my most popular WGU video for a while. Every week, that is my most watched video. And I was going to release both of these videos at the same time, but this one I just kind of put off because these ranking videos are very long videos and there's a lot of parts to them. So I put this one off for a few more months, but I decided to finally make it. But yes, data structures and algorithms too. It's a very intensive project and I'll try to link to any helpful information I can give you in the description. Four is operating system for programmers. So this course, it's a newer operating system course for WGU. They had a previous operating system course before, which was way easier. So they decided to redo this course, make it way harder, make it way more complex. So the problem with this course is it's extremely broad. The OA, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's gonna be extremely broad. Like there's so much material to digest. Basically WGU would want you to like read a thousand page textbook and watch some more videos to really like pass this course. Now there is helpful information out there, which I will link in the spreadsheet where you can find information to pass this course more quickly. Like what worked for other people. What you guys should be looking for on almost every course. This is the great thing about WGU and it's the great thing about a popular online school is you can Google the course and then find somebody who completed this course in like a week or less and follow their instructions. Find like two or three people that did the course within a matter of days and do exactly what they did. So that's the best advice I can give you. I mean, it's extremely basic advice, but it's also common sense. Type in the WGU course, type in Reddit after that and see what you can find. Find somebody that completed it in five days, 10 days. What did they do? Are they giving you their methods? follow their methods. It's the most basic advice, but absolute best advice I can give you. So operating system for programmers. This is a very convoluted course, way too much information. Like WGU should probably cut out 40% of the information in this course because it's not necessary. And like I said, the OA is way too broad. Number three is computer architecture. And this is the same problem as operating system for programmers. It's a very broad exam. It's really complex, convoluted, not the greatest put together, a lot of information to digest. Digest. So I would recommend taking the study.com computer architecture class instead of this one. I have taken the WGU one and it's, it's hard to pass. It's one of the most difficult courses, maybe, maybe the most, but definitely one of the most difficult courses I took at WGU. So at least exam wise, non-project exam wise, it might be the hardest course I took. A lot of information. I didn't think the textbook was the greatest. The videos are pretty useful. I, I would watch the videos. You'll also find whatever helpful YouTube information you could find, find whatever helpful Reddit information you could find, course chatter, discord, everything that you can get your hands on. It's a very hard exam and there's a lot of information on it, very broad. And even if you read the entire textbook, I, I don't even know if you have enough to pass it. Like I said, you maybe a little luck. Very tough course. I would definitely recommend taking this on study.com. But the WGU one is passable. If you study really, really hard for a good week, 10 days, you can definitely pass it on your first try. So just make sure you study. This this is a class where studying definitely pays off and study everything. All right, guys, we're down to number two now. Number two, I wanted to have number one and two both be a an exam and a performance assessment here. So number two will be a performance assessment, which is a project. And this class is advanced Java. So the Java classes at WGU are known to be hard and advanced Java is another pretty complex project where a lot of people struggle with it. There are some people that probably won't struggle with it at all. Probably won't even have this course in their top 15 or 20. You know, like I said, all these courses of difficulty are subjective. I have gone by volume. How many people struggled with this course? How many people thought it was hard? That's how this ranking is kind of based upon, but that's not the only factor. Advanced Java, you can transfer this in, I believe with the Oracle exam, I'll double check and put it in the spreadsheet, but the Oracle exam is also extremely difficult. So you might want to just take it at WGU as well. So Advanced Java, there's some pretty good material you can find on how to pass this course, but it's going to take you a while. It's going to take time. You're going to have to invest a lot of time into this course and be patient with it. And as I say to all of you guys with every course, you know, don't give up, you know, just power through it. Take a break if you need to. Anybody can pass these courses, in my opinion, even the math courses. Nothing is about intelligence. It's all about time management. Everything is about time management. Turn off your phone, do what you got to do to invest the time without any distractions. And this is going to 
to be one of those projects where no distractions. You need to focus. It's going to take a lot of brain power. Finally, we get to number one on this very long video. Number one is Discrete Mathematics 2. So once again, subjective. A lot of people might not find this course hard at all. I see some people pass this course in a couple of days, and there are some people that take three, four months on this course and end up switching programs. So discrete math two, for a lot of people, can be a very difficult exam. As I put in all of my computer science videos, I've been recommending Trev Tudor's YouTube discrete math playlist, which kind of syncs with the WGU discrete math two course pretty well. I don't think you can pass the course with just that playlist, but it will help a lot. I I would definitely digest the WGU material, read the book, maybe not all of the book, but read a lot of it, the cohorts, and also the Trev Tutor playlist, and whatever else you can get your hands on. I would take the PA right away, as I suggest with everything, but the OA, I'd probably wait. If you're not comfortable, I'd probably wait till around the two-week mark to take this one. Just try to digest and study as much as you possibly can. So you might take the most time on this exam out of all the exam courses at WGU that are non-certs. So this might take the longest. So out of all the exam courses that are non-certs, this might take you the longest. It might take you a good two or three weeks. It all depends on your study habits, your time management. Once again, math is not about smart, intelligence, anything like that. It's about time management. Can you put away your distractions? Can you actually focus and digest the material? Guys, that is the video for today. This might be my longest video ever, and I did it all in one go here. You know, most YouTubers break down their videos, even a 10-minute video video they do in like two minute separate videos and put it all together with video editing i did all of this in kind of one go so i'm a little exhausted but i hope i helped you guys in some kind of way i hope i helped you pick an alternative class i hope i helped you with the spreadsheet which gives you information how to pass the class now during the video i didn't give you the greatest detailed information how to pass and that is because you know, I can't go over in detail 20 classes in 30 minutes, but I did my best and there will be even more information in the spreadsheet in the description. So I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. And remember, I will be giving away a hundred dollar Amazon gift card to one of the commenters. You only have to do three steps. As I said before, one, subscribe two, like the video and three, leave a comment down below. And in your comment, all you need to type is WGU and whatever program you're in or want to be in, uh, so WGU Cybersecurity, WGU Computer Science. And after that, type something like, this course was hard, or whatever, whatever you wanna say. It can be anything after those words. You know, you can say, I look forward to the WGU Cybersecurity Program. Thank you for going over this course, like whatever you wanna say, but you have to put in the words WGU and whatever program you're interested in. So if you do that, those three things, you will be entered to get a $100 Amazon gift card, and I will select that by a random comment picker. So it'll completely randomize all of the comments and it will pick one of you guys, which I will say in a future video who won, because a lot of YouTubers will just never say who won, but I will say exactly who gets that $100 gift card. I am trying to grow my channel, so if I liked or helped you at all, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys very much today for watching. It really means a lot. I have more videos coming out soon, so thank you very much. See you soon.